Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Karimbu. It's Saturday afternoon again and we are just about to have another contest on the quiz show Karimbu. Karimbu, as you know, is a Dagbani word which means reading or learning. And it's a quiz show which challenges our youth to learn more about Ghana and Africa. And uh, especially in Ghana, our recent um, political history. You are welcome once again to the program. All the questions that are being asked on the program are based on all the information for the for all the questions can be found in two books that were authored by me. Speaking of Ghana, did you know that? And speaking of Africa, did you know that? Once again, welcome to the show. Before we go any further, let me um, acknowledge those who made the show possible. We say thank you to Quality Life Assurance, Quality Life Assurance inspires trust and Susanna Lodge Hotel, where you can get the best cuisine and accommodation for a unique experience. Karimbu is presented by the Ofana Ed Foundation, which aims to give educational water to thirsty students. This week's contestants are Elvis Abwaje, David Efa, Adam Mubarak. So if you've been watching every Saturday, you realize that these three contestants each won their contest and now they are in the semi-finals and this is where the quiz gets a little bit more difficult and the prizes also get better. So now let's take a message from our sponsors before we actually start asking the questions. In life, nothing stays the same forever. At Quality Life, we believe that living a better life is your right. Leave all your worries to us and go on to live comfortably because you deserve it. Apply for the Quality Education Plan, Quality Funeral Support Plan, Quality Smart Plan, Quality Mortgage Protection Plan, Quality Investment Plan, Group Insurance Policies and Micro Insurance Product that guarantees you absolute peace of mind. Call us on 0556-589665 and let's see how we can help position you for a better future. Quality Life Assurance. We inspire trust. There are three semi-final quizzes. The three highest scorers make it to the finals. Each contestant will answer 30 general questions. The general questions are worth two points each. The contestants will also answer four map reading questions each. The map reading questions are five points each. There is a segment called Ultimate Karimbu, where the contestants all have the same written question. The Ultimate Karimbu segment is worth 10 points each. Each contestant then has a total possible score of 100 points. Time allotted is 5 seconds for general questions and 5 seconds for map reading questions. For the ultimate Karimbu, each contestant has 45 seconds to answer. When the time is up, there will be a buzzer which sounds like this. Good luck to all of you. And now, Elvis. The first question on Ghana goes to you, and it is this. In which region can you find the town of Chinderi? Northeast. I'm sorry, that was the OT region. Okay. David Effa. In which region can you find Jewi Wolf? No, the region. I'm sorry, no. that's the western region. Western region. Adam, what is the capital of the Enzima East District of Ghana? Okay. The answer is Axim. All right, let's go on. We'll see how we're going to do. Um... Elvis, who was the second lady of Ghana from July 2012 to January 2017? Mrs. Lodina Mahama. I'm sorry, the answer is Matilda Emisa Arthur 
from July um, 2012 to January 2017, um, President Atta Mills died in July 2012, and John Mahama became president. And um, Mr. Parkwesi and Mr. Arthur was the vice president. So the second lady was Matilda. Okay. David, which former head of state instituted a program called Operation Feed Yourself? Turning General Achampon. Achampon is correct. Well done. Okay. Okay. Adam, who was the first Ghanaian woman electoral commissioner? Mrs. Charlotte Osei. That is also correct. Well done. Okay. Elvis, where is the town of Wulensi? Northeast. I'm sorry, northern region. Northern region, you almost got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> David, in which town can you, in which region can you find the town of Nyangpala? Northern region. Northern region is correct. Good. And Adam, in which region can you find the town of Kulingugu? The Upper East region. Upper East region is correct. Good. Good. Well, <laughs> um, Elvis, when did Ghana's first republic end? 1967. I'm sorry, you almost got it. It was 1966. The first republic was Kwame Nkrumah's government, and the coup was in February, 24th February, 1966. Okay, all right. David, listen to this question carefully. To which political organization did Kwame Nkrumah belong in 1947? The United Gold Coast Convention. That is absolutely correct. Good. <laughs> and Mubarak. When did the National Redemption Council come into office as the ruling body in Ghana? 1979. Try again. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you were bailed out. It's 1972. Um, in 1972, January 13th, 1972, was a coup d'etat orchestrated by Kenel, the, at that time Colonel Achampong, and that is when the Second Republic was removed from office, and that's when the National Redemption Council came into power. Okay. Um, Elvis, in which region can you find Huni Valley? Sorry, you were Belda. That's the Western region. And David. David, if you were from the Dagati ethnic group, which region would you likely come from? The Upper East region. I'm sorry. The Northern region. Sorry. The Northeast region. The Upper West region. He made it. It's the Upper West region. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Mubarak. In which district of the Volta region of Ghana can you find the city of Aflao? The, the, the district? Yes. Sorry. K to South. K to South. Paul Kwesi Indum was a presidential candidate in 2016. What was his party? Progressive People's Party. That is absolutely correct. Well done. Okay. David, who was the flag bearer for the National Alliance of Liberals in the 1969 elections? K.A. Wow. Correct. That is good. Well done. <laughs> 
uh, Mubarak. What is the name of the first woman cabinet secretary in Ghana? Merci, Yvonne Debra Karikari. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> okay. Good for you. Elvis, what is the name of the hills near Bogatanga, which is famous for the wind whistling through the rocks? Bongo Hills. Oh boy. <laughs> it's the Tongo Hills. He said Bongo. I'm sure he, he had, well, I'm sorry, I can't give you the, <laughs> the marks, but I know that you, you, your answer was in the right direction. I'm sorry. It's the Tongo Hills. Okay. All right. David Effa. What is the closest English speaking country west of Ghana? West of Ghana. The Gambia. Nigeria. No. I'm sorry, it's Nigeria is east, so that is out, but it's Liberia. You get to like you got to from Ghana, you get to Cote d'Ivoire, then the next country is Liberia. Mubarak, in which region of Ghana can you find the town of Bunkurugu? Northeast. Northeast region is correct. Well done. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Elvis, give me the name of the man who was the flag bearer of the Progress Party in 1969. Okay, the answer is K. Ebuzia. Okay, he won that election. <laughs> and David, who was the first woman chief executive officer of the Ghana Chamber of Mines? Joyce I. Fantastic. Well done. Okay, Joyce I. Okay. okay. Mubarak. Mr. J.W.K. Harley was once a member of the ruling governing body of Ghana. Which government was that? The Provisional National Defense Council. No. Yeah. I'm sorry, you've been told that. It's the NLC, National Liberation Council. Okay. Elvis. In which region of Ghana can you find Fort Orange? Central. Right. Western. Yeah, you got it right on the second try. Is the Western region. Okay. <laughs> David, in which region can you find Fort Williams? The central region. Central region is correct. Good. <laughs> Mubarak, where does the Pra River enter the Atlantic Ocean? Near yeah, Azim. It and the Western region. Um, well, then I have to give you the point because you said Western region. Okay. <laughs> so Mubarak gets that point. Okay. Um, this is a personality question. This man was a well-known Ghanaian author and poet who was tragically killed in a terrorist bomb in Kenya in 2013. I'm sorry, you were bailed out. Kofi Auno. Okay. Um. David Effa, this man was a head of state from 1972 to 1978. He was ousted in a palace coup and executed in 1979. Name him. General Achampong. Achampong is correct. Good. Mubarak, name the person who preceded Kwame Nkuma as head of state of Ghana. The king or queen of England. Yeah, that's correct. In specifically, it's Queen Elizabeth II, but you know, you didn't need to know that. You just needed to know that it was a monarch of England. So well done. So we're back to 
Elvis Abuaji. In which region can you find the town of Kikam? <laughs> Sorry. That would be the western region. Okay. Elvis. The town of Kantanka lies on a huge water body in Ghana. Name that water body. The Volta Lake. Volta Lake is correct. Well done. Thank you. Hey. Hmm. Mubarak, in which region can you find Fort Prinzenstein? Fort Adafua. Keta. Keta is correct, right. I, I, I even asked for the region, but you know, you did well. Okay. Now we go to Elvis. Which of the four republics in Ghana, we are in the fourth republic, so we've had three former republics and now we're in the fourth republic. Which of the four republics in the history of Ghana did Colonel Achampong and his team overthrow? The second republic. The second republic. Well done. Thank you. David. In which year did the Provisional National Defense Council assume office as the government of Ghana? 1980, 1981, 1979. You know, you know what? Uh, I'll, I'll have to give you the point. Um, technically, it was 1981. I mean, it's, it's 1982, but the coup happened on 31st December 1981. And you said 1981, so I'll give you that. Okay. Okay. Um, Mubarak, a stadium bears the name of this man who was director of the Central Organization of Sports and the vice president of the Confederation of African Football in the First Republic. Oh, he needs it. Right. Well done. <laughs> you really studied. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Um, Elvis Abuaji, if you belonged to the Nanumba ethnicity, which region would you likely call home? Northern region. Northern region, correct. Well done. Uh, <laughs> David Effa, during slavery, a wall was built among the Mampusi people to protect them from slave readers. What is the name of that wall? The Najaringa wall. Najaringa wall is correct. Good. Okay. Mubarak, in which region can you find the Aka Falls? The Vota region. No. Voti region. Eastern region. Yes, it's the Eastern region. Okay. All right. Where am I? Um, Name the only president in Ghana so far who came into his office directly from his position as vice president. John Dramani Maham. That is correct. Well done. Okay. <laughs> David, this man was the head of state of Ghana on June 4th, 1979, and he was executed by firing squad on June 26th. 1979. Name him. General Kufu. Yes, that's correct. General Kufu. Well done. Mubarak, in what year did the National Liberation Council assume office as the governing body of Ghana? 1969. No. 1979. Right now you are guessing. Give me wild guesses. No, National Liberation Council, 1966. They overthrew the Kwame Nkrumah's regime. 1966, all right. Okay. Elvis, the town of Hohoi is in the close vicinity of a water body, which is a tourist site. What is that water body? Water, no water. No. The Wli Falls. <laughs> yeah. Um, a water body. I mean, I'm sure you know uh, what a water body is. Any, any water, any body of a pond, a lake, a sea, a river. Okay. Now. 
David Efa, the town of Nkwanta in the Oti region is a location of which national tourist site? Monkey Sanctuary. Um, a lake. No, I just said which tourist site. It's the Kayabobo National Park. Okay, so. Mubarak. The town of Yamatwa in the Western North region is on the border of which African country? Togo. Burkina Faso. No. Western North region. Cote d'Ivoire. Western North region. Once I, that, that, that was a clue I gave you. I know you don't know where Yamatwa is. You probably don't know where Yamatwa is. Western North region, you should know that it's Cote d'Ivoire. Burkina is in the north, Togo is in the east. Okay. All right. So, well done. We are done with the round on Ghana. And uh, surprisingly, without any options, without hints, they've done very well. Now we go to the map reading. So, um, Elvis, come and take, uh, walk to the map of Ghana, take your pointer, and wait for your two questions. And your first question is... <clears throat> What two regions are on the immediate west of the Volta region? Immediate west of the Volta region. Two regions. The Eastern region and the Ashanti region. Immediate west of the Volta Eastern region. Eastern and Greater Accra. Eastern and Greater Accra is correct. <laughs> there are two regions that touch the northern border of the Greater Accra region. Point to them. The Eastern region and the Volta region. That is correct. Well done. Well done. You nailed your two map questions. And it's your turn, David. Point to two regions that lie south of the Savannah region. The Bunu East region and the Bunu region. Yes, correct. Well done. Okay. okay. Um, point to two regions in Ghana which have two international boundaries each. Upper West region and Sava Upper West region and Savannah region. Upper West region and Upper East region. Upper West region and Upper East region. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mubarak. Mubarak, there are two regions north of the northern region. Point to them. Upper East region and Upper West, uh, the Upper East region and the Northeast region. Yeah, that's correct. Upper East and Northeast. Okay. And the last question is point to any two regions that are on the north of the Bunu East region. The Savannah region and the Northern region. Yeah. They are included. There are, are many more, but those two are included. Well done. Um, Thank you very much. We are done with the um, Ghana map reading and um, we shall tackle Africa next. But before then, let's have a message from our sponsors. Here is the question for Ultimate Karimbu. Name all the regions in Ghana that share a border with a neighboring country and there are 10 of them. You have 45 seconds. Okay, pens down. I'm going to change places again with David. And 
I'm going to read your answers out. So David, you can go back to your spots. And I have David's answer here. And David has got 10. And um, let's see how many he got right. He had the Savannah region, which is correct. He had the OT region, which is correct. He had the Volta region, which is correct. He had the Western region, which is correct. He had the Western North region, which is correct. He had the Upper West region, which is correct. He had the Upper East region, which is correct. He had the Northern region, which is correct. He had the Northeast region, which is correct. And he had the Bunu region, the Brungahafu region, which is also correct. So David nailed 10 out of 10. Well done, David. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> well done. So let me pick yours. And while I'm here, let me pick yours. Okay. Adam Mubarak, Ad Adam, you didn't number them, so I'll do that for you. Adam Mubarak had the Upper West region, which is correct. He had the Upper East region, which is correct. He had the OT region, which is correct. He had the Volta region, which is correct. He had the Bunu. Um, no, Adam made a mistake. It's the Brongahafo region and not the Bunu East region. The Bunu East region is inland. Um, he had the um, Western North and Western, which are correct. So Western North and Western is correct, 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 correct. He had the Savannah and Brongahafu. So Muba, um, Adam had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of ten. Well done. <laughs> and Elvis had. The Upper East region, which is correct. Upper West is correct. OT is correct. Volta is correct. Savannah is correct. Bono region is correct. Western is correct. Northeast is correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of 10. Well done. Well done. Well done to all of you. The, um, the, 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 Bono, the Bono East region is more inland. Um, east of the... Bono East region, you have the uh, Ahafu region and the, you know. So we are done with the ultimate Karimbu for this round. And um, we'll take a commercial break now, hear from our sponsors and we'll come back to Tackle Africa. Welcome back. This is a very tough semi-final, but the kids are doing so well. I'm really, really proud and happy to say that they really, really studied the books. Anyway, we are going to tackle Africa next. And um, as you know, before then, we have to look at how the scores are shaping up. And they are pretty impressive. We have David Effa in the lead with 42 points out of a possible 50. And um, Adam Mubarak has 36 and Elvis Abwaji has 28 and that is all very 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 impressive and good because because they 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 just had to answer the questions from the top of their heads and um without any options without any hints or anything and they all did very well in the ultimate karimbu the lowest score being eight out of ten they were able to get eight regions out of ten that share a border with a neighboring african country so well done now we're going straight to Africa and I'm starting with Elvis again. And your question is, who was the first president of Mozambique? Mozambique. <coughs> Sam Samura Macho. <laughs> yeah, it's Samura Macho. Be confident, you had it right, but you were shaky. All right, he had it right. Okay, before the bell. He had it right before the bell. He shakily said, Samora Marshall, and then, 
a louder Samara Michelle after the bell, but he said it before the bell, so he gets it. Okay. Um, David Effa. Omar al-Bashir governed his country for 30 years until he was deposed in 2019. What country did Omar al-Bashir lead? Sudan. Sudan is correct. Well done. And Mubarak. Mubarak, in 1968, the African country of Southwest Africa changed her name. What is the current name of the former Southwest Africa? Sorry, you were bailed out. The answer is Namibia. Okay, we go to Elvis again. And Elvis, listen to the question very well. What ocean washes the western border of Botswana? No ocean. Right, you are correct. <laughs> Botswana is landlocked and no ocean washes its western or eastern or northern border. Well done. Okay, David Effa. The Moroccan flag is a bold red solid color with a five-pointed star in the middle of the red. What color is the five-pointed star? Green. Green is correct. Well done. And Adam? Name one regional body that Rwanda belongs to, in addition to the African Union. Just one. Rwanda. Common market for Eastern and Southern Africa. I'm coming. Yes, you are right, Comsa. You are absolutely correct. It's the East African community and the common market for East and Southern Africa. Well done. Ooh. <laughs> I'm impressed. Thank you. Elvis, which country in Africa was once referred to as Rome's bread basket because of abundant food? Tunisia. Egypt. I'm sorry, it's Algeria. Okay. Now, um, David, Noak Church is an African city. In which country? Mauritania. Mauritania is correct. Well done. Mubarak. Mubarak, the currency unit used in Nigeria is a Naira. Each Naira is divided into how many Kobo? Two. No. Three. Nope. Four. Hundred. Each Naira is divided into a hundred Kobo, just like each CD is divided into a hundred pence. A hundred Kobo make one Naira. You know what I mean? Okay. Elvis. Where in West Africa can you find the city of Ganvie? Benin. Benin is correct. <laughs> okay. David, Port Louis is the capital city of which African country? Mauritius. Well done. It is Mauritius. <laughs> Adam Mubarak, which country colonized Cape Verde? Portugal. Portugal is correct. Well done. Hey. Elvis, which African country is known as the Perfume Islands because of the aroma of spices which grow there? Comoros. Comoros is correct. Well done. Okay. <laughs> David, what are the three colors in the flag of the Republic of Mali? Red, gold, and green. Yes, red, gold, and green. Very good. Mubarak. Somalia is located where ancient Egyptians used to buy gold, ivory, and spices. Name the, that legendary place. What's the question? Somalia is located in a land where ancient Egyptians used to buy gold and spices. Somalia. No, I'm sorry. The land of Punt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I go back to... David, Lake Asal is a lake that is 10 times saltier than seawater. In which country can you find Lake uh, Lac Asal? Egypt. Nope. 
The answer is Djibouti. Um, David, what is the currency used in Malawi? The Malawian Kwanza. Kwacha. Kwacha is correct. Okay. And Mubarak. The absence of West Africa is the nickname of a country that has some of the oldest institutions in the region. Name that country. Senegal. Nope. Okay. Try again. Podiwa. Nope. Sierra Leone. Thank you. Elvis. Elvis, it's your turn. Elvis, what is the name given to the mandatory community service in Rwanda which takes place on the last Saturday of each month? Clean up. Yes, but what's the local name? Yeah, it's, it's a clean up exercise and they call it Umuganda. Okay. <laughs> All right. David, between 1958 and 1976, there was an African country called Spanish Sahara. What is that country called today? Western Sahara. Western Sahara is correct. And we go on to the next, Mubarak. Okay. Mubarak, who was the first president of the Seychelles? James Mantel. Yes, correct. Well done. Back to Elvis. The Tenere Desert is a smaller desert within the Sahara Desert where the remains of dinosaurs have been found. In which country can you find the Tenere Desert? Niger. Niger is correct. Well done. Okay. <laughs> David, where in Africa can you find the city of Benghazi? Libya. Libya is correct. Well done. And we go on to Mubarak. Manuel Pinto da Costa was the first president of which country? Sao Tome and Principe. Well done, Sao Tome and Principe. Yeah, okay. Elvis, the Edo Benin Empire is a powerful kingdom that thrived in the Middle Ages in West Africa. What country historically is the location of that empire? Benin. No. Nigeria. Nigeria is correct. Well done. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, David, please, apart from the AU, name one regional group that Cameroon belongs to. CEAC. Which is? Central, Central African Community. Central African Community. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll have to check on that. That's not the answer I, I, I had. The answer I have is the Economic and Monetary Community of Central Africa. And you said this uh, Central African what? Community. Hmm. Central African Community. Yes, I think I'll give you the point because it is the Central African Community, only that it's called Economic and Monetary Community of Central Africa. Okay, all right. Mubarak. Sorry, the first president of Guinea-Bissau had a brother who also fought for the independence of another country. Who was he? Amika Cabral. Amika Cabral is correct. Well done. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, Elvis. Egypt has about 140 pyramids and is world famous for the pyramids, but there is a country that's ha that has 220 pyramids. Name that country. Sudan. Sudan is correct. Well done. Okay. David, what title does the head of state of Lesotho bear? The monarch, a king. King is correct. Monarch is also correct. Acceptable. Okay. Yeah. Mubarak, what's the currency unit of Uganda? Ugandan shilling. Ugandan shilling is correct. Okay. All right. Elvis, Las Gil, it means water source. It's a place where four to five thousand year old paintings have been found on rocks. Where in Africa can you find Las Gil? Somalia. Somalia. Well done. 
David. Where in Africa can you find the city of Mombasa? Kenya. Kenya is correct. Well done. Mubarak, the flag of the kingdom of Lesotho has the image of a Mokoroto in the center. What is a Mokoroto? Yes. Mokoroto is like a net, a net of calabasha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, it's a hat. It's a Basuto hat. It's a hat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, leave it. Elvis. In 1972, the third largest diamond in the world was found, was discovered or found in West Africa. What was the name that was given to that stone? The Star of Sierra Leone. It was found in Sierra Leone. Okay. All right. David, there is more than one country in Africa called Guinea, or that has Guinea in its name. Which of them has Theodora Obiang as one of its leaders? Guinea Misa. No. Nope. Guinea. Nope. Equatorial Guinea. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Equatorial Guinea. <laughs> this was a wild guess, but you, you did it within the time, so I have to give you the points. Mm. Mubarak. Dar es Salaam is a major African city and until 1994, it served as the capital of which country? Tanzania. Tanzania is correct. <laughs> Elvis, apart from the AU, name one other regional organization to which the Seychelles belongs. Okay. The South African Development Community. Okay. All right. Now we go to David Effa. In what year did Gambia attain her independence? 1972. Nope. 1976. <laughs> no, you can't guess all the years. 19. <laughs> Sorry, you missed that one. It's 1965. Okay. Okay. Mubarak, the flag of Eswatini has several colors with the image of a weapon in the center. What weapon is it? A, a, a spear and an arrow. Yes, a, a, a spear and a shield, actually. So, you know, the shield is what you are calling the arrow, right? You are right in that flag question. Okay, you go to... <laughs> you go to Elvis and um, this... It's a personality question and it's this man is considered the father of African film and he's called Sembeni Osman. He directed many award-winning films in the 1960s and 1970s. What country is he from? Sierra Leone. Try again. Li Liberia. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> you were bailed out. Senegal. Senegal. Okay. David, who was the first president of Gabon? Leon Imba. Right, that's correct. <laughs> All right, Mubarak. In what year did South Sudan attain her independence? 2011. 2011 is correct. Well done. And now the last question before we go to the math reading. Um, Elvis. This man was killed in a plane crash in 2005. He was he fought for South Sudan's independence, but he never lived to see it. He's considered the father of South Sudan. What's his name? John Goran. Correct, John Goran. <laughs> okay. David Efa. Sally Wegzwede is the first female elected president of which African country? Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Correct. Right. Well <laughs> Mubarak. Bloemfontein is the judicial capital of which African country? Liberia. No, I'm sorry. You've been bailed out. The answer is South Africa. South Africa has three capitals. The political capital 
the judicial capital, the economic capital, something, and Bloemfontein is the judicial capital. Okay, all right. Okay, we are done with Africa. Another very, very impressive round. And it's time now for the map reading Africa. So, um, Elvis, take your pointer and stand beside the map of Africa and wait for your two questions. Which two countries are almost immediately south of Angola? Namibia and Botswana. Yeah, that's correct. Well done. <laughs> Which two countries are on Libya's southern border? Niger and Chad. Chad. Well done. You nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's time for you, David. It's your turn. On the western border of Ethiopia are two countries. What are they? South Sudan and Sudan. Yeah, right. South Sudan and Sudan. Yeah. Uh, um, what two countries are on Burkina Faso's eastern border? Niger and Benin. Right, Niger and Benin. Well done. Okay. <laughs> it's time for you, Mubarak. Okay. And what two countries lie on Benin's northern boundary? Burkina Faso and Niger. Right, Burkina Faso and Niger is correct. What two countries are on Algeria's eastern border? Tunisia and, Algeria, Li Tunisia and Libya. Right, Tunisia and Libya. Well done. We are done with the map reading. So, um, map reading is actually very simple if you know what north is, what south is, what east is, and what west is. It's actually extremely simple. So, well done. And now, once again, it's time for Ultimate Karimbu. Listen to the question very carefully. You have 45 seconds. Ultimate Karimbu Africa. There are four countries on the mainland African continent that lie on the shore of two oceans each. Name the four countries and the oceans that awash them. Africa that lie on the shore of two oceans each. The whole of Africa. There are four countries that lie, have two oceans. Not only the Gulf of Guinea, but another one, you know. Okay. okay, it's time up. Pens down. Okay, so David. You can, you can take your place and I'll read the... So I'm expecting... I'll tell you what I'm expecting. South Africa lies on the shore of two oceans. The Atlantic on the west and the Indian Ocean on the east. Egypt lies on the shore of two oceans. The Mediterranean in the north and the Red Sea on the east. Then, Somalia lies on the shore of two oceans, the Red Sea on the north and the Indian Ocean on the south. And Morocco lies on the shore of two oceans, the Mediterranean on the north and the Atlantic on the west. So let's see how many of... So there, there are eight possible answers. That's Egypt, Morocco, um, South Africa and Somalia and the oceans are the Red Sea 
Mediterranean, Atlantic, and Indian. Okay, so um, David got South Africa correct. That's one. He got Atlantic and Indian. So David Effa has got three. Then um, he got Morocco correct and he got Egypt correct. So out of eight possible answers, David got one, two, three, four, five. David got five out of eight correct. Mubarak the, um, got Atlantic correct and he got Indian correct and he got South Africa correct. So Mubarak got three out of the possible eight. The others were wrong. You wrote Burkina Faso, Liberia, Mozambique. And um, Elvis got, um, so that's three out of eight. Elvis got Morocco correct. He got the Atlantic Ocean correct. He got the Mediterranean Sea correct. He got South Africa correct. He got Atlantic twice. He got the Indian Ocean correct. So Elvis got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Elvis got five. So um, David got five. Elvis got five. And Adam got three out of eight. So our score master will work out the percentages. Three out of eight, what percentage is that? Five out of eight, what percentage is that of, you know, 100%. So he will let us know the scores later in the program. In the meantime, we are done with Ult Ultimate Karimbu Africa and we are going on a commercial break and we'll come back and see how the whole quiz shaped up. Welcome back. Um, we've come to the end of proceedings and um, it's now time for the fun part where I'm going to give out the prizes. But before then, we need to find out how the uh, whole quiz shaped up today. We have in the lead David Effa with 86 points, Adam Mubarak at 68 points, and Elvis Abwadi at 62 points out of a possible 100. They are all very impressive. And um, David Effa is a possible finalist. Uh, we are going to take the three top scorers of all the three semi-final contests to make um, the contestants for the finals. We're not necessarily taking the winner of each quiz. So if nobody, um, if um, more than two people get more than 86 points, then um, David will not be a finalist. But if he's among the three top scorers of the contest, then he will be a finalist. So we have a possible finalist in David Effa. Congratulations. Con congratulations to all of you, because this is a quiz with a difference without any options. And I can see that you have all done ex extremely exceedingly well. And I'm very happy and proud to have you on today. So that's the end of this semi-final um, contest. And now I'm going to give out the prizes, starting with Elvis Abwaji, who gets his prize money. And everybody is getting 10 CDs for every point. So Elvis gets 620. And um, Adam gets 680. And David gets 860. At the end of all the three semi-final contests, the three top scorers will have their money up to 1,000 CDs as promised. Okay, so please, can I have um, Elvis's prize, please? Okay, thank you. All right, Elvis, well done. Well done, congratulations, and I hope you compete again. You've done so well. Yeah. And next, can I have Adam's prize? Yeah, wow. Well done, Adam. Well done, congratulations. I remember you got 100 in the preliminaries. Well done. Okay, and now David Effa. Can I have David's prize, please? Okay, so well done, David. Here you go. All right. Well done to everybody. And thank you once again. I want to give a shout out to our sponsors. Quality Life Assurance. 
QLAC inspires trust. Susanna Lodge Hotel for the best cuisine and accommodation for a unique experience. And the show has been presented by the Ofana Ed Foundation, which gives educational water to thirsty students. Thank you very much again for joining us this afternoon. And we'll see you next week for the next semi-final contest. So bye for now. <laughs>